Cambodia is one of the poorest countries in the world and relies heavily on foreign aid. Its tragic history has stunted its economic growth, and the majority of the population makes less than $2 a day. Around 70% of the population supports itself with subsistence farming, and many of them migrate without documentation across the border to Thailand in order to make the extra money that they need to support themselves and their families. Access to healthcare is extremely limited among the impoverished rural communities, and even more difficult to access for the mobile migrant population. A combination of poverty and the circumstances associated with the cross-border migration process, which can involve long stays in crowded Thai detention centers, leaves this population particularly susceptible to communicable diseases such as tuberculosis. Cambodia has the second highest prevalence rate uh, for TB among the 22 high burden countries in the world. TB is a bacterial infection transmitted through air particles. It can attack the lungs. If not treated, it can be lethal. About 50% of those with active TB will, will die. It detects about 40,000 TB cases a year. So on a daily basis, we screen up to about 90 migrants per day. We screen them for symptoms, such as a cough more than two weeks or weight loss. Then we refer them to the hospital where they receive a chest X-ray. This is the X-ray we bought with the project. This is the government radiologist that we've trained. So these two uh, x-rays are very suspicious of TB. You can see abnormalities in the lungs. In one of them, the lungs actually collapsed. We're going to collect sputum from them and we're going to test that in the laboratory using Gene Expert, which uh, gives an accurate result in about two hours. When we find TB among these migrants, we refer them for TB treatment through the National TB Program. The private clinic said that she has something like pneumonia or any other lung problem and she's been told to go back to the clinic here on a weekly basis to get injection but she has been still feeling the same thing that's why she decided to come here did any other family members have tb her mum her mum her mum has been uh, treated. So this girl was diagnosed yesterday, she's getting treated today. So that's what TB REACH is all about, detecting cases earlier and treating them earlier and preventing further transmission to the community. This was a patient that we uh, detected a week ago, so he has, was deported back and he went through our screening. We found out that he was TB through the gene expert. They had nowhere to live so the health centre here is looking after him in the in the TV ward here. He was HIV positive before we detected TB and because he's the HIV is an underlying factor that it's actually destroying his immune system. So he was detected two weeks ago now he looks a lot lot better. We think about making a more concrete plan with them in regards to maybe some more food support, which means a lot to some poor families. And we're out with our community health volunteers. We go out every day and meet migrants. So we're in a village at the moment up along the border. The locals here call this village no man's land. After having identified that uh, any of them is a migrant. They will try to ask them about their symptoms, whether they are coughing, whether they have any uh, chest pain, any fever. If so, then they make a plan to refer them to the hospital. Local knowledge is important in this project because having them a part of the team, we can build trust with the community, encourage them to come and get tested at the hospital. One of them's already finished and been cured of TB. So after six months of treatment, he looks a hell of a lot better. Cases that we found, 65% of them had no plan to see a doctor upon return. If we weren't screening them, no one would be. To go out in the field and see our TB patients complete their treatment and be cured of TB, feeling healthier and happier, is a great achievement of the project. Every day, we're doing everything we can to help stop the spread of tuberculosis and to help this vulnerable migrant population. But there's more work to be done. Find out how you can help us continue and expand our work by visiting us on the web.